Hey, hey, welcome to tiltmobility.com. Uh, today I've got SPB Wireless Monitor 3.0 uh, running on my tilt. It is an application that monitors your wireless usage, uh, which includes everything. Um, USB, uh, Wi-Fi, media net, uh, AT&T GPRS, uh, etc, etc. Uh, more connection type supported, GPRS, CDMA, 3G, Wi-Fi, USB. Per application traffic and cost reports, and there's a, a new user interface as well. Uh, I don't know uh, what the other version of SPB Wireless Monitor looked like, so I really can't uh, give you a comparison about that. Uh, but some of the features are time-based and per application traffic and cost reports, table and chart view for reports, warnings when traffic cost limits exceeded, 440 plus predefined service plans. You can export it to HTML and CSV. Uh, today plug-in that shows connection speed and other statistics. Integration with SPB Pocket Plus as well. Uh, it costs uh, $19.95 USD or upgraded from two for just $9.95. Alright, so let's uh, take a look at here. Uh, is that a focus? Okay, here it is running. If I can get in closer here. Here it is running. Uh, every time, it seems like every time the power goes off, it resets. Um, I did have, I left my Wi-Fi running all night because I wanted it to, uh, you know, to go up and all that, but it, it didn't do anything. It reset, apparently, this morning uh, when my phone went into uh, sleep mode. Also, um, as you can see, it makes my screen bigger. I have to scroll down. Uh, I don't like that, obviously. Uh, <laughs> no data recorded. Uh, exit. Okay, uh, if I click click the little icon here, it gives us the monitor. We got reports, analyze data, traffic, and costs, alarms. Get notified about your spending. We got connections and tariffs. Assign tariffs to your data connections. We got export, uh, export data to HTML, MS, Excel, etc. And today settings. We can configure the today screen, which is nice. Uh, let's see if we analyze. We got no no data recorded for this lecture period. Hmm. Oh well. As I said, I don't know why I didn't save it. Uh, but, well, here's your alarms. Uh, tap menu, new to create a new alarm. There's new, uh, edit alarm. Warn me when daily traffic on USB connections exceeds 10 megabytes. Uh, yeah, okay. And we're done. Connections and tariffs. AT&T GPRS, MediaNet, USB, and Wi-Fi. I got no tariffs on these. And these are, of course, the connections that you can monitor or that you have selected the monitor you just uncheck them to not monitor them uh, export that's easy uh, select the connection we want to export select the period select the format it's easy to do today settings okay obviously I, I don't use GPRS because the tilt has a GPS in it GPS no wait what am I talking about <laughs> anyway <laughs> I don't use uh, AT&T data plan because I have Wi-Fi and I have many many hotspots around me uh, Starbucks you know I have the free Starbucks you just have the card and you can go to Starbucks and get it for free uh, I don't use the AT&T media net so it really doesn't matter to me so we uncheck those two USB I personally I don't care about but Wi-Fi Wi-Fi is cool I'll leave that on so if we click exit the only thing now we have which is nice we've uh I've compacted my screen more. There's no scrolling anymore. I have the scroll bar. It's just the Wi-Fi. And of course, uh, if I go here, we'll open up Internet Explorer. Blah, 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 blah. You know how this works. Why my Wi-Fi is so slow, I don't know. But hey, that's my Gmail account. Um, okay, well what I did was we just uh, ran, you know, I opened up a page and here is the uh, data connection as you can see it's still climbing actually because I still have it open I believe. Yeah, see I have Internet Explorer is still open. 
I can close it, of course, it's not going to close on me. Anyway. But there's our Wi-Fi connection here. Uh, 715 and 287.6 kilobits. Uh, 308, and uh, it's still climbing. Because it's still open. Let's see if I can get closer in here. There it goes. Okay. Um, it, it, it's a nice little program. It is a nice uh, little program. Uh, if you care about that stuff. Personally, you know, personally I, I, I don't care. I'm in a, I'm in a position where I have Wi-Fi quite a few places that I get for free so I have no need to use an AT&T data plan um, I can see I can see where some people you know might want to monitor their monitor their data plans if they're on a limited plan um, you know you can analyze your data your traffic traffic costs uh, you can kind of figure out what your bill is going to be which you know which is kind of nice for everybody especially in the economic climate we're in right now And of course, exporting them and everything else. Uh, one thing nice is uh, you can get an idea. Uh, you can kind of compare it to your bill. You can compare your usage to your uh, actual bill that you're going to get. So you can see, you know, if they're and basically if they're accurate in their monitoring. Because I, I, I think the program, I think SPB Wireless Monitor is accurate. I really don't have a way to to uh, get an idea of how much I'm actually transferring unless of course you know unless of course I have some other program on here that might tell me that um, I don't know uh, it's a nice little program and for me it's it's you know it's not one of those things that I have any use for but you know other people might actually like it It could come in handy, I'm guessing. Alright, 